What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Leaf Autograph Baseball Bat Edition just sold out. This is a four-box case break random bat number one. So no proper checklist on Leaf's website or anywhere, but there's the potential chasers you can get. There's some pretty big names, including Mickey Mantle, Ted Williams, etc. So each box contains a either baseball bat autograph of a Hall of Famer, a superstar, an elite young player. So we have four spots. We're gonna showcase the bats first, then we'll come back here, roll the dice, randomize the names, the four bats, whatever you match up with on the Google Doc is what you get. The bats are actually right behind me, right here. Our table is kind of a little too small for, for the bats. So, I'm gonna open it up right here. We'll just pull out one bat, one by one. By one. Here's the first one right here. Maybe I can just put it right here on the table. I'm gonna just move all the top loaders out of the way. I think if we move all the top loaders, we should be fine. All right. So let's rip the bet first bat. I'm not really good with autographs, so unless they give us like the name on the sticker, then I can probably do a little who am I, but if not, we're just gonna have to show off the bat and see if anybody knows the name. Oh, I assume that they're gonna give us some type of hint. Give me the name. Want to do a little who am I, guys? Who's watching? Let's see. All right, I'm a former professional baseball player who played 16 seasons in the major leagues. I was a Ralph, a right fielder, and a designated hitter. Played for one, two, three, four different teams throughout my 16 year career. I'm currently 47 and retired. I have a batting average of all time of 318. I have 2,500 plus hits, 449 home runs, and over 1,400, almost 1,500 RBIs, 1,496. I'm a 910 All Star. I'm an AL MVP in 2004. I have an eight-time slu uh, Silver Slugger Award winner, and I am part of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Inducted recently back in 2018 with 92.9% second ballot. Any guesses? Not Luis Robert. Um, I have a son who's playing currently in the MLB, if that helps. Ah, there you go. Jim's got it. So there you go. Yes, sir, Anthony got it as well. We got a Vladimir Guerrero Sr., which is a nice little Rawlings bat. Let's see if I can kind of show it to you guys from right here. Move the box out of the way. And there you go, Vlad Sr. There is the autograph. Really nice bat, actually, I must say. Feels really good. So there you go, Vlad Sr. is the first one. So let's put that over here to the side. Altuve, no, Altuve. Uh, Altuve could be in one of these boxes. <laughs> He's so tiny. All right, let's go with the next bat. I think we have another old timer, so let's see how good you guys are. Oh, 
Alrighty. I am a former major leaguer who played second base for 17 seasons in the MLB. Um, I believe I only played for one team my whole career. I'm a 10-time All-Star, two-time World Series champ, eight-time Gold Glove Award winner, and my jersey number nine is retired by the team I played for. Inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2001, I have a career batting average of 260, over 2,000 hits, 138 home runs, and about 853 RBIs. And I believe was elected via the Veterans Committee. So, um, I have a pretty historic moment where uh, one of the most iconic home runs in baseball history the dramatic ninth inning drive in Game 7 to beat the heavily favorited Yankees in 1960 World Series. It remains the only walk-off home run to clinch a Game 7 World Series championship in Major League history. Not Pedroia, not Bagwell, not Block, not Ripken, not Joe Morgan. Who am I, guys? This is way before my time, too. Or way, way, yeah, way before my time. Nobody remembers the 1960 World Series? <laughs> Remember, this is all from Wikipedia, so if you guys are trying to cheat. No? Nobody else? Not Gibson. Remember, this is 1960. No, not Gibson. My team I'm retired and played for is the Pittsburgh Pirates. How about that? That's, that's the last hint I can give you guys. I played for one entire career with the Pirates. Ah, there you go. Jeremy Harder. Got it. So I'm assuming, is it just, I mean, obviously, what does Veterans Committee mean? They just wanted to induct them just to induct them? So I feel like the stats he doesn't have. But I guess that, that obviously, you know, game-clinching... World Series champ clinching was pretty historic. But yes, I am Bill Mazeroski. There you go. A nice, this is another Rawlings bat right here. Is Call of Very Good? Probably, yeah. All right, two more to go, guys, and then we'll, we'll randomize the names and the bats. So, so far, two Hall of Famers. See if we can get some young guys in here now. This one I kind of open backwards. This one is a currently active player in the MLB. Currently active. I am a current professional baseball player that plays uh, first base, and I'm a DH for this major league team I'm currently on. I have a career batting average of 284. I have 92 home runs, 270 RBIs. I'm a two-time All-Star. Last two years All-Star. All MLB first team last year. Hank Aaron Award winner last year, Silver Slugger Award winner last year, and I led the MLB in home runs last year. Um, I was an international free agent signed in 2015 by this team I currently play for. Um, also finished second in AL, AL MVP votes last year. Who's was the youngest. And... Uh, where he was voted MVP as the youngest in the All-Star Game history as well. But uh, last year had, uh, let's see, what was my last year career stats? I don't have stats right here. Well, 
If you guys haven't guessed it already, I'll, I'll give you one more hint. I'm sure you guys will figure it out now. I am a junior. My dad is uh, was current was a baseball hall of famer, and uh, actually pulled him two bats ago, actually, which is funny. Wow, he's only 23. Can you believe that? Pujols. <laughs> I don't know. Pujols had a. Uh, I don't know. Pujols had a son. Look at that. Little Vladimir Guerrero Jr. autograph bat. <laughs> That's all good. There you go. Nice one right there. So we got Vladdy Sr. and Vladdy Jr. with Bill Mazeroski. Alright, last one here, guys. See if you guys can get this guy. All right. See if you guys can get this guy. I'm a former professional baseball player. Um. What? Actually, hold on one second. Hold on. <laughs> I need to find the right page for this guy. All right, well, my MLB totals, guys. I played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years in the MLB. I had um, 141 home runs, 415 RBIs. Uh, I had a slugging percentage of 474. One of my best years uh, was, uh, I guess, 1987. 1987 was one of my best years. Actually, sorry, no. 1990 was my best year. I had 28 home runs, 78 RBIs. It's kind of hard with this guy because it's going to give it away right away. And mainly... We're looking at his other professional stats. Because this person is the only athlete in history. Only athlete in history. To be named both an MLB All-Star and an American NFL All-Star. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's only a couple people that did both of those. But he's the only one to be an All-Star in both. He is part of the College Football Hall of Fame. But a lot of people say if he would have stuck to one sport, he would have been a Hall of Famer for that sport. Um... But mainly, I mean, they talk about his football stats because he was just a stud in college. You know, obviously. I had a career batting average of 250. Like I said, 141 home runs, 15 RB, uh, 415 RBIs. But yeah, one of the most exciting athletes. I mean, again, a little bit before my time, but seeing so many highlights of him running on walls, hitting home runs, just trucking uh, the boss. I mean, pretty cool. But yes. It was kind of tough on this guy because they were mainly just talking about his football stuff, not really about baseball. But yeah, we got a Bo Jackson. And this one's actually really cool because I don't know if they all been inscribed with their names, but this one actually does have Bo Jackson, Kansas City Royals inscribed. And this bat does look a little different, just slightly, which is pretty cool. So, there you go. Yeah. Pretty awesome right here. All right, guys. So there you go. So in that order really quick, guys. Let me see. Um, let's go right here. 
here. So we got Vlad Guerrero Sr. And then we got Bill Mazeroski. Let me make sure I don't have to botch his last name. Then we have Vlad Guerrero Jr. And then we have Bo Jackson. So there you go. Vlad Sr., Bill Mazeroski, Vlad Jr., and Bo Jackson. So there's the four names of bats, four customer names there. Let's roll the dice and see what you guys get. Five and a three, eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight times. Five and three, eight. Carl at the top down to Allen. And we got five, three, eight. Times right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Bo Jackson at the top. Down to Bill Mazeroski at the bottom. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the way it played out. So, Carl, you're going to get Bo Jackson. Carl with Vlad Guerrero Sr. Nicholas, you're going to get Vlad Jr. And Alan last ball mojo, Bill Mazeroski. So, there you go, guys. That's what we'll be sending you guys out there. So appreciate you guys. Um, we only had one of these. I, I only seen one, so I guess that's going to be it for us here. But if we do ever get more, um, it'll be on jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Appreciate it.